Hello everyone, it is 2 o'clock in the morning here in New York, um, but I really needed to listen to a podcast and see what Laura Holloman and Jennifer Beals had in store for us. It was a 45 minute podcast, they talked about a lot of things, and I want to go through what they talked about, about the season finale and just the show in general, before we get to the big surprise. So stick around to the end. So immediately, Jennifer Beals expresses that she was upset that Helena wasn't at her wedding. Uh, Peggy Peabody wasn't at her wedding. These people that we all thought should have been there, and she agreed. I'm so sorry that Miss Helena wasn't at the wedding. I know, and I bought a hat and everything. I mean. I think, yeah. And Peggy, I really wanted Peggy at the wedding. Yes, it would have been so much fun. So Jennifer and Laurel discussing the wedding scene, and they were saying that it was so comforting to have Kate direct the second to last episode and Leisha to direct the final episode and the wedding because it felt so good to have someone to look up at that you trust. <laughs> Listen. And what was great was to have Leisha directing, right? Yeah. Like that was really fun. She did a great job. It was brilliant. She did a great job. Yeah. 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 That was special. That was really fun. I think there's some kind of magic to... I mean, with Kate and Leisha directing the last two to like look up and to see someone that's part of the family and that knows you and knows your character so well and has a very like clear idea and background of like how everything becomes authentic and what the truth is. And that, that's something yes, kind yes. of amazing. Yeah, just some you look up and there's someone that you can trust implicitly yeah. and it makes it easier. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now. I may just be reading into it, or I may just be 100% right, but it sounds like they were throwing a little bit of shade, and you know what? I'm here for it. Our host, Rachel Shelley, wastes no time stirring the pot, and she says, well, what's next for you both? Do we get a spinoff, or like, what's gonna happen? And um, the craziest, weirdest, nervous laughter ensued. <laughs> Was this an end for something? Was this a well, maybe this was a beginning for the spin-off show that I've just made up? I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. I, I have no idea. You you go ahead, Laura. Rachel's gonna start like a whole movement. <laughs> I see this. I see this now. I can see it happening. Yeah. Hashtag <laughs> spinoff. I don't know. Hashtag <laughs> spinoff. Yeah. Hashtag. Oh, I- it wasn't hopeful. Jennifer Beals then starts talking about how she loved the video at the end of the episode where fans were talking about how much the show meant to them. And I wanna tell you something, I was in that video and it only was about a week ago that I realized, oh my God, Jennifer Beals has seen my face and heard my voice. <laughs> That's insane. Hi, Jen. But I, what I will say, though, is that after the season ended, to see the outpouring of love and gratitude from the fans was incredibly moving. And to hear them talk about what this marriage meant to them was really moving. And uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it was just it was really lovely. We then continue to learn more about how Jennifer Beals is such a de- dedicated actor wants to stay true to her character even decades later. She puts a lot of thought into her vows, um, makes sure that they're handwritten in her own handwriting so that it felt true to herself. And so we knew we needed them written down and and I asked to write mine in my own hand so I didn't have the sort of meta thing of looking at someone else's handwriting. Someone else's handwriting, mm, yeah. which is strange, mm, yeah. Yeah, and Laurel wrote hers as well. And I got a little obsessive about this. I remember I was like, oh, and I want the ribbon to match Tina's jacket, you know, so that it's like <laughs> the design of this jacket. I got a little, got way into it. But I realized like there was something that was really meaningful to me about these, these vows on these pieces of paper that I wanted to keep. So then our host, Rachel, asks the magic question, I suppose. What's next for you guys? What's your next projects? Well... Jennifer Beals is busy as hell. So I am producing four different projects right now, so it's a lot of development time, which is fun. 
and Laurel's busy too. I have one child going to college next year, so like time feels very, very precious right now. I've been offered a show that was just gonna go in Paris probably in December. So for all of us that were hoping, praying, wishing for a spinoff with them too, I do not think we getting it. Then Jennifer talks about how she loves to go hiking in the woods and Sometimes I'll just go in the forest and stare at mushrooms, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jennifer, we see your Instagram. We know. And finally, our favorite, Bet and Tina, Tibet, Jennifer and Laurel had a message to the fans. You, me, all of us. So if you're a fan, they're talking to you. Yeah, you. Check it out. I, I have to say that the L Word fans are the best fans in the world. The fans are, are phenomenal. I mean, it's really special. I've never seen anything like it. I, it's, it's just been an incredible journey. And um, thank you. Thank you. So here's the moment we've been waiting for. What were we getting? A podcast? A, a book? A, a spinoff? A radio show? Unfortunately, none of those things. But the thought that they put into their vows at Bet and Tina's wedding and the love that they have for those actual handwritten pieces of paper. They're so valuable to them and they knew that they'd be so valuable to one of us fans that they will be auctioning it off for charity. You went to them and said, let's auction it. So what? when's this happening? When, when where, what? That's a really good question. <laughs> the bidding begins April 3rd. Uh, it's on Charity Buzz, and all proceeds go to Glisten. So I just want that whoever, you know, wins these vows, that they know how important they were to us, how meaningful they were to us. Now, Lord knows um, this is going to go for a lot of money, and I'm not going to be able to afford it. So hopefully one of you lucky bidders can uh, afford that and put it on your wall, and then let me come touch it. Although I do not have enough money to bid on such an item, um, I did get this from their wedding uh, at the party at the Sammy Tropic. This is actually the cake topper that was on their cake. That was a real cake that nobody ate. And um, I did get sent by Showtime uh, an official invitation. So uh, I guess I'll have to be happy with that. But happy bidding. There's our surprise, y'all. Uh, let me know what you think. Have a good night. Bye.